It's it's a hundred percent better than the last stream that we did for sure. That's for sure. Like a hundred percent better than the. All right, well, I, I think we'll do this guy here. I like this. I like this little guy. Found the, oh there it is, bone color. Uh, we'll use this yellow, uh, and then we're gonna need black for sure. We're gonna need silver for sure. We're gonna need lighter silver, and then a brown. All right, so we're gonna do a little imperial fist, and we're not gonna need that many colors. Your folks, one, two, three. I think I think these nine, and then whatever bases uh, you want. Uh, but I think that this will get you. And then just to piss off like everybody uh, at one time, we're gonna start on a model that's prime black uh, to do bright yellow models because you can. Now, guys, I only tell this to my closest friends. So uh, you know, don't don't share don't share this. Uh, but the secret is you want to start on pink or purple whenever you do. Um, I like the Army Painter uh, Alien Purple is really good at this, and you can buy a shaker can. Uh, but for today, we're gonna use this one, Screamer Pink. It's uh, it's a mix between purple and pink. It's a, it's a very dark pink or a very pinkish purple. Uh, but that's the trick, okay? That's like the, the one secret. It, it works even if you're not doing an air, uh, if you even if you're not using an airbrush, but like for airbrushes, it's like it's magic. It's shaken properly. All right, let's try this. Uh, let's try this. Uh... Yeah, you see, so that's, you know, a, whoa, purplish pink. So we're just going to do uh, the entire, the entire freaking thing, okay? No, we're not leaving black anywhere, really. So the color of the primer in this case does not really matter, right? Like if, uh, if you buy this in a spray, just like spray this. Or, you know, just like get, get your airbrush like we're doing right now. Just like any primer will do. And then you just like, this is a very freaking nice color. I think I'm going to use this on something else. You could have like a pink sister battle army. All right, so I'm going slowly here, and I'm kind of building it uh, as I go, and that's kind of the real flaw of like starting on black. Even with the airbrush, you have to do two coats of that like purplish. And like this, I'll show you. Like this is a little little weakness from the, these like cheap airbrush. The the trigger always like wiggles, and like this is a problem because this is like literally this is halfway through the the thing. So that's one of the main issues with like these cheap airbrushes. That's one of the main thing. Uh, that fucks up is like you see this um, um, this shakes here, but the, the needle is not moving like at all It just get worse, and then you're not like having a good good spring experience All right, so this I would say this is mostly pain. Oh, ooh. so looking good So yeah again, I want to remind you we're doing a yellow space marine. Don't worry. I, I've done this before I see how this episode ends. Okay, so we'll uh, well so now now we need to clean this like car correctly Okay, we can't really do the the half ass thing that we usually do where we use some of that color into other things because uh, it's not gonna work with this pink and yellow transition, okay? So a good, I, I re you really don't want any any of the pink. You have to clean it a little bit more. So now we're gonna switch to our yellow and uh, I like Ariel yellow for this. This is one of the brighter, uh, the brighter, this is the kind of the medium one, I guess, like the super bright, that's the that's the main one. Ooh, it's almost white, you see. So this is the super light one, that's not the one you use. Here's a darker one, that's a Averland Sunset. And it's also a, a vibrant yellow, we're not using, which is very fine, like this this color right here, this is Zamezi Desert, I call, I call this construction yellow, all these, uh, you know, like the, I think this is really nice for Airzy. So Zamezi Desert is how I would paint my, my guys, but now this one here, we're going for like classic look of like vibrant yellow. So we got that yellow going on, and now we're gonna build it up slowly here, so we're going to start from the top and then we're just going to work our way ever so slowly but uh you're going to see uh this this is not going to take too long so I'm, I'm still i'm keeping my same like from the top down angle right now I'm, I'm just turning them all around not like not changing the direction of the spray really at this at this stage so i'm giving it a little bit more of an angle so i can hit these parts because i don't want any part to stay purple i just want to use the purple to get my yellow super shiny like already we get a good like good transition and now that, that's kind of the part where you have to but now we get a marine that's a marine a marine that's um, all yellow and we got, we got some some spots here this color is like very deep and we get like good good shadows here and there i'm really really happy about this but now we get to highlight even more and then we're gonna have bone into this so skeleton bone uh, I don't want to add straight white because uh, as soon as you add white to yellow, you get something like you get the canary color. You could use like off white, like uh, Ultron Gray would work great. You could use Raid ra Bone is kind of okay as well. It's a li super light color, almost bone. So we're gonna keep using uh, what we got going on here, but now we're gonna add some more highlights. Already 
well shaded so we, we can be very like deliberate with what we do and we can use this highlight color to kind of mask off these areas with the with the spiky uh this is uh, exactly what i want deep contrast from light yellow to dark yellow so and none of the darkness is like purple right so if you look at it from any angle you cannot say this is purple or this is pink it, all, all of it looks yellow just darker shades of yellow and uh, very light shades of yellow if you don't have an airbrush, you can look at the, the easiest way to do yellow. Uh, we did, that's another video. I'll try to link it. So the airbrush is set aside because we're not going to use it anymore. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take Cassandra Yellow and we're going to give this guy just a clean, one smooth, clean coat of Cassandra Yellow. And what that will do is that it will smooth out all of the airbrush and the, the steep transition between our purple and our yellow that we started with. So some might not be the smoothest, right? So we're just going to make sure that it's like silky smooth. And that's what the wash will do. It will not do much else, to be honest, because this is a very light wash. In fact, we can be a little bit more generous because it is like full of like nooks and crannies. But this is like a very, very steep contrast when it, and it took very very little time so i'm very happy with this so now just a matter of like filling in these other colors around and then obviously a little glowy thing because this guy has a plasma gun and uh, you can do the classic thing of doing the guns in red uh, like some some imperial fist player they like they like that scheme and now uh, we're gonna add some something in the back here i'm not too sure but i feel like the backpack definitely needs something that's not yellow not too sure what exactly but it, it like it, it's gonna be something for the purpose of this video we're just gonna continue with the black we're just gonna finish the black usually i would do and it's kind of a it's a very hard color to tell it's bluish greenish this this one leans more into the gray you can see it's, it's getting that, that really, really blue look. But we can shade that down with black afterwards. Like, we'll do silver just to see where, where we stand with this. And then once we do the silver, uh, we're going to use the black wash anyway, so we can maybe... It's also a good idea to do everything before you start messing up stuff. Like, uh, if you're not sure about something, don't try to make it perfect right now. Just keep going on your model. And at some point, sometimes you find that some, some of the stuff does not work. And then you can opt in for a very like lighter color here. I like, I like a darker brown because it fits with our black and our silver. But you can definitely opt in for like a almost like sand color. And then that will really, really blend it with the with kind of the armor. And it will I, I like to have it match the other details, though. All right. And now we're going to mix colors. I don't usually do this, but for this, in this spe specific case, it's really good. So bone color and then rhinoxide mixed together, uh, you get like a cream color, like a chocolate color. I look into like regular ranges and you get chocolate brown, you get rhinoxide mixed with bone color. And it's, it's called chocolate brown, but it looks like no chocolate bar that you'd ever eat. Okay, it's like, that's going to be our treat for uh, completing a successful uh, Imperial Fist, I think. And now you can push this contrast here as much as you want okay so i could put more bone color into my brown and get into these like super crisp like so i'm, I'm happy with this little contrast now once this is dry we get to wash it again with null oil so uh, usually if you if you're smart and like you've seen this this done before you know that you you save your null oil for once your brown your brown your brown your black and your silver is base coated and then you take out null oil and then you just go to pound town you have this should be dry enough for us to smack it down with the null oil. And so what that will do is it will blend all of these uh, these different like browns and bone color that, that you mix together. It will all blend them all into one like kind of a seamless transition. So you now have to be like super extra careful here because it will all kind of uh, work itself out like so. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this so far. But now we're going to add some uh, some funny glow color to this. And our glow color, we're going to go back to our purple, our original purple. Okay, that was Screamer Pink. I know it says pink, but it's kind of more purple than pink. We're not going to use the big clunky airbrush. We're going to use instead our uh, Sotar guy. You don't need an airbrush to do this, okay? You can go, you can paint it like by hand. You don't need to do the glow. We have an airbrush and I kind of dig the glow, so we're going to do it. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can just paint it on. That's perfectly fine, okay? Just to get there. So that's the same color that we uh, that we base coated our guy in when he was like all purple. Yeah, the pl plasma guns are always like kind of a, a tricky thing, but you can do them by brush. Maybe we do the rest by brush. I don't, I don't know. Whoa. So the main thing is that this color here is reversed. Okay. So and what I mean by that is that this our marine here. Our marine, the top is like light, and then everywhere there's shadow is darker. Now the plasma gun kind of works the opposite because that's that's how you do the light. So what you want to do instead of having this 
And then you can do, let's put this guy on the side here. We don't need this. Quick second. Now we're going to take a little brush. So not real. So basically the way you would do the glow, you'd want to kind of dry brush the darker color. So the shape of your brush is like not a big, big impact because you, you, you need a little bit more control than just doing what the brush does and kind of hoping for the best. Uh, so that's why, that's why I'm going with like a little, uh, yes, it will. So that's why I'm going with like a little bit more white and you can see it now, now we can see exactly what we're doing. So we add, we add like that little white line and it's kind of the in so it's literally reverse. So like instead of the holes being dark, you want the holes to be light and then the top being, and we can, this, this is kind of the part where uh, another, another thing of like you pick your poison, you decide how much you want to, so on the eyes, same thing here. So now I'm pretty happy with this effect here. Uh, this this is, you know, if if we, if we did a unit, this would be a lot of a lot of work, kind of for for like a unit or even a, an army. But I think overall, these are the kind of models that you want to put that kind of uh, that kind of effort on. That's right. We're not keeping that one. That base is gone forever now. Obviously, the trick when you do this is to is to not glue the model like a savage. But this this one I think I got like secondhand from somebody else of removing this guy from the base. Okay, he was like on his base till uh, dead do it till dead do us part. Okay, but uh, well, it's about to meet its maker. Let me tell you. Now a base. I have this one here, like this one. That any dark base is kind of really nice. There we go, and now you can do, uh, you can add grass or whatever, uh, what have you, on this little base. I like this, just a little dark sand with a little dry brush. It's very, so this guy, this guy took a little bit less than an hour. Uh, once, when we do the Erezy version, because I'm still building the Erezy, that's what I'm going to go do after the stream, I think, is build our Erezy models. Uh, we're going to do one that's much more like uh, c construction yellow, okay? But th this is the kind of more classic, bright yellow thing. Ivan the Imperial Fist or whatever. Higgy. Higgy the Imperial Fist. That's, that's a nice name. So thanks everybody for being here. And uh, until next time, no excuses. Hobby like champions. Everybody.